salve a tutti ragazzi come promesso oggi continueremo la pintura di questa casa of Monkey Island special edition come avevo annunciato abbiamo imparato gli insulti e le risposte che adesso affronteremo il maestro della spada maestro di spada no. I'm back and boy are you in trouble this time let's get this over with come sapete every word you say to me is stupid adattare eh, le risposte a quello che dice che non sono uguali a quegli insulti che abbiamo imparato e quindi I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me my name is feared in every dirty corner of this island And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. You run that fast? I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? There are no clever moves that can help you now. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You are a pain in the backside, sir. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Even before they smell your breath? I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. Eccoci qua. Eccoci, abbiamo battuto il Maestro della Spada. E abbiamo fatto la prima prova. Adesso dobbiamo andare a casa del governatore per rubare qualcosa. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Va bene. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. Non 
anzi facciamo facciamo dopo uguale andiamo camminiamo camminiamo guarda che bisogna fare tutta la strada già che ci siamo possiamo andare qui quando sta per strada famosissimo pollo di gomma maybe no one will miss just this one thing what may I help you with son wait don't say anything I can sense your name is is Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Wow, that was amazing! Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. Ah, I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's yours. Why don't you want it? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. So? My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! Get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. 
Whatever. Adesso diamo una mentina al carcerato che ci dà una cosetta che ci serve. Breathmaster, for the pirate who cares about first impressions. Oh, Krago Mint! How refreshing! Thanks! So, have you come to release me? Can I get you anything? Yes? You can get me out of here! Actually, something to get rid of these rats would be nice. I'll trade you this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made. I hate carrot cake. Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. He seems innocent to me. Why don't you let him out? Maybe you should mind your own business, stranger. I'll decide who's innocent and who's guilty around here. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it! Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get his body in trouble. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. The red button.
It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Hack! <laughs> Gophers! Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. I've got the file! That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet! Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? 
Well, let's hear your explanation. The pirate leaders told me to do it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says the pirate leaders told him to do it. Then he's not the first decent person they've led astray. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. <laughs> so the pirate leaders made you do it, eh? Gee. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Um... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Bull! Rufenkiv! I'm doing glee? I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? I'm going to go put this idol in my safe deposit box. Oh, really? I know a really safe locker you could put it in. Davy Jones' locker! Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm, this might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Fester wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known, or even cared, if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. 
No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why? Are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. <laughs> quickly. <laughs> Ebbene, un'altra prova l'abbiamo fatta. Bene ragazzi, ci salutiamo qui e ci sentiamo al prossimo video. Se vi è piaciuto iscrivetevi al canale, lasciate commenti o iscrivetevi lì sotto, tipo Discord, eccetera, eccetera. Io vi saluto e ci vediamo al prossimo video. Ciao ciao!